All right, welcome back, everybody. Sorry for the long break, but that's just how the matches were scheduled. Anyways, we got two more matches coming up back to back, and first we have the Columbus Clappers at 0-0-0, their first match of the season going up against the Ireland Pepe Tactics, who are 2-0-0 here in the Cynical in Columbus, Ohio. Let's look at the lineups for the Clappers. They've got the Dream Team, Panarin, Dream, Meat Sale, and Chris. Dream is going to be out, though, so Chris will be making his Clappers debut. And for the Pepe Tactics, they got Jake, Monkey, Thugger, and Timmy. I'm assuming it's going to be Jake, Monkey, and Timmy again, but we'll see. As I have messages from several different people giving me the password. I was just trying to do my intro. All right. Uh, password's not working. Maybe I'm trying to join the wrong. I am trying to join the wrong lobby. All right, there we go. Let me switch it over here. Bathroom for Jake. Well, that gives me time to quickly. So it looks like the Ireland Pepe Tactics will be in red. Clappers will be in blue. Uh, I wasn't really having too much lag issues earlier, uh, Panther, so... I think it should be fine with it on. Like I said, I think most of my lag issues were coming from the fact that I was uh, running like three different programs in the background. Also, Q-Dub, do we have somebody doing live scores for this one? Or do I need to keep track of that? Well, thanks, Flaunty. Okay, cool. And I can close down that window to take even more processes away. So. Hopefully that should be all good. But we'll see. All right, it looks like both teams are ready to go. I was right. It is going to be Jake, Timmy, and Monkey going for the Pepe Tactics. And then for the Columbus Clappers. Sorry, in their debut, they got Panarin, and Meat Sale, and Kriz. Let's go. All right, here we go. First period underway. Ireland versus Columbus. Pepe Tactics versus Clappers. Meat sale behind the Pepe Tactics net. Gets the pass out to Panarin, who sends it right back. Well, as I said, I didn't think I was having lag issues earlier. Now the game does look very stuttery. So I guess I jinxed it. Oh, shit, the five gift subs from Zufi Or Zoophile? I'm sorry that I'm destroying your name here. Thank you very much. As Chris tries to pass up to Panarin, and he gets dumped back behind the Ireland net. Now meets out with a couple of good moves, gets the shot on net, but Timmy is there for the save. Oh, it's Kekka. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much, Kekka. It's now Chris. The opportunity blocked by Monkey goes for a second chance effort. It's blocked again. Now 
Got Panarin, getting it out to Meat Sale. Meat Sale with a nice move, gets it around Monkey and puts it in. Columbus have their first goal of the season on the board. One, nothing. As Monkey almost own goals on that one, sending it into his own zone. Let's let's try it without reflective ice and see how it looks. Oh, all right, never mind. <laughs> I think I'd have to do it out of game. As Chris from behind the net blocked by Monkey. The Monkey in the corner. Gets it out to Chris. Chris trying to push it in. But stopped by Ireland. The Monkey from the corner. Pass it to Jake. Goes past him into Meat Sale. Now Chris with the puck. Moves it around. Gets it down to Panarin. Panarin with a nice move. Trying to pass over the middle. Monkey with a nice block. Here we go. A chance. Jake. Misses the shot wide. A Chris trying to get up to Panarin. Monkey sends it away. Now, of course, Clapper is not going with their classic lineup. Dream is unavailable for today. Still, Panarin in his own right be enough to carry any team. And Meat Sale and Chris are no slouches either. As Meat Sale's trying to push this one in, he puts it out in front of the net for Panarin, who sends it in for his first goal of the season, two to nothing. Clappers, a 2-0 lead. Jake going for the cross-eye shot, stopped by Meat Sale. Though I think that was wide anyways. It's now the pass down to Panarin. He gets it out for Chris, but Chris cannot get to it fast enough. Now Meat Sale on the boards, fighting with Monkey. Takes the puck around behind the Clappers net and dumps it in. Chris was there for a shot attempt, but Timmy with a nice defense blocks it. Now Meat Sale gets it over to Panarin. Panarin with a nice move, puts it! Through a little space between the Pepe Tactics defenders, but it was enough for a goal. Three to nothing. And see why this man is so dangerous with the puck in his hands. Or on his stick, I guess. Now Monkey goes for the shot. Goes wide. Panarin. Again here. Gets it around Monkey with a nice move. Has a shot attempt ready, but Jake sends it away. Now Chris. Going for the backhand like usual. Gets over to Meat Sale. Meat Sale trying to get it back to Chris. Almost own goals. And Meat Sale with the second chance at the puck here. This time it's blocked by Monkey. And goes over to Timmy. Sends it around behind the Pepe Dacus neck net to Monkey. Who loses it to Panarin. Panarin now in the corner. Sends it around boards to Meat Sale. Meat Sale trying to get over to Chris. But sends it backwards instead of forward. Now Jake trying to put some pressure on. Meat Sale goes for the pass on the Chris. Blocked by Timmy. Timmy now, trying to pass over to Jake. Does eventually get there, but Meat Sale with a nice defense keeps him away from it. Timmy again with the puck, a minute left. Pass over to Jake, goes just past him. Now Meat Sale with a chance, gets it past Monkey, goes for the shot blocked by Timmy, the second chance opportunity. Also saved by Timmy. Good goaltending there. Keeps us one a three goal game. Now Timmy gets over to Jake, who gets it over to Monkey. Monkey now on the boards, loses it to Panarin. Panarin sends over to the other side. Monkey is there. First goes for the shot blocked by Panarin. Nice move there to kind of fake wanting to walk the puck and instead going for the shot. However, the Clappers were still ready for it. Now Chris from the corner. That's off boards. He lets it go to Panarin who loses to Jake behind the Pepe Tactics net who sends it right to Meat Sale. With no teammates even in sight. Now Panarin under 10 seconds left. Loses it to Monkey, who almost puts that into the net. Panera with a nice move, though. Gets the puck, and that will end the first period. 3-0 our score. Clappers. Looking as dominant as they always do. Here in the first. And we take no time getting into the second. Well... Like, theoretically, it would have been no time, but, you know, now we're at the loading screen, so now it's going to be a bit of time, you know. You know. Yeah, Clappers, somewhat unsurprisingly, on the top of many people's preseason rankings, performing well in the 3v3 tournaments that preceded SPL, that I think some people are kind of treating as, like, the preseason 
I guess not really officially, but, you know. There were a decent amount of SPL lineups that participated in those tournaments. And Clappers dominated in those. Of course, two-time NSL season champions. As much as NSL, you know, NSL stats, NSL accolades don't really matter in SPL, it's still hard to deny that this is a very good lineup. Now, Chris, of course, wasn't part of that original lineup. It's usually Dream, but he isn't here. But Panarin and Mitzel are still a good duo regardless. Now, Panarin with a nice move gets around Jake, but he loses it to Jake. He comes back for it, and he gets over to Monkey. Monkey trying to get it out, but it goes right to Meat Sale, who sends it back and almost into the net. Panarin from behind the net, going for the wraparound, stopped. Panarin, again here, loses it. Stream was fine earlier. Makes me kind of sad that it's kind of lagging a bit here, as Jake dumps it away, and Chris almost redirects it towards his own net. On the pinch here, gets sent all the way back behind the Pepe Tactics net, where Timmy will send it over to Monkey. Monkey now on the boards. Trying to move the puck up ice. Leaving it for his teammate Jake. Jake going for the shot attempt, but it goes off the side of the net. Up in air. Pass on the Chris, sent away by Timmy. It's dumped back behind the Clapper's net. And Meat Sale loses it. Monkey trying to get around Meat Sale. Can't quite do it. Monkey with another opportunity here. Blocked by Meat Sale. Again, Meat Sale's shot. Stopped by Timmy. Let me try something. Now Jake, from behind the Pepe Tactics net, gets it over. Or was trying to get it out. It went to Chris. Now back behind that net again. Jake. There we go. All right. I had to close my Chrome window. So I won't have any uh, stream editing abilities, but, you know, whatever. I can live for a much smoother. I can live with that for a much smoother stream. Maybe I can actually open that up on mobile. Let me give me. Let me give that a chance. Here's the pass down to Panarin. Panarin in the Pepe Tactic zone loses it. Meatail gains it back. Look, it's dumped into their zone again. Chris loses it, and it goes to Jake. Jake from the corner here. Clappers playing a bit more passive here. The pass over to Monkey. Monkey just dumps it back behind the Clappers net. Now Meatail with the puck. Brings it up for the Clappers and passes it to a wide open Panarin who puts it in four to nothing. Just all alone out there. Making it look easy. Now Monkey from behind the Pepe Tactics net goes for the cross ice shot. Stopped by Panarin and Timmy with the save. Now Chris sends that one wide. Panarin pass on the meat sale and meat sale puts it in. Five to nothing. That'll be Meat Cell's second goal of the match here. As Panarin has three. A pass on to Chris. Chris trying to get it over to Panarin, but stopped by Monkey. Monkey now. He's trying to get a goal here for the Pepe Tactics and almost does it with that shot. Just goes right off the side of the net. Now Meat Cell over to Panarin. Panarin goes for the shot and Timmy... Moves out of the way. Unfortunately, six to nothing here. The Clappers are starting to pull away with this one as Jake loses the puck and just gives it to Chris. Chris now looking for his first goal. Loses it to Monkey. Monkey now pass over to Jake just behind him. Now Jake with a chance in front of the Clappers net and this time he puts it in. The Pepe Tactics able to get on the board here. For the first time in this one, 6-1 to one our score. Putting that lead down to 5. Now Monkey, trying to get it around Chris here. Just trying to push it past him. Chris comes away with the puck though. And Timmy able to barely redirect it. To stop that one from going in. Jake, bounce it off boards. Meat sale now with the puck. Pass over to Panarin. Panarin tries to redirect it towards the net. Doesn't quite work. Now Chris on the boards, pass over to Meat Sale. Meat Sale with a nice move, pass it down to Panarin. Good pass, Panarin now looking for an opportunity. Couldn't quite find it there though. Now Meat Sale 
Trying to pass over the middle again. Blocked by Monkey and then sent away by Jake. Into the Clapper's zone. Grizzed out with a nice pass down to Panarin. A minute left here in the second period. Clapper's up by five. Nice block there by Jake. Monkey trying to come up and take the puck. But Chris is there. Now Chris passes it to Panarin behind the Pepe Tactics net. He gets out to Mitzel who goes for the shot. But it's sent away by Timmy. Now Mitzel in the corner. Sends it all the way down to Chris, who was just waiting for the cherry pick. Brazil's in the chat, 7-1. to one, with Under 40 seconds left. And now Meat Sale almost makes it 8-1, to one, but a nice save by Timmy. Panarin off the second chance opportunity, gets it sent away. He gets another chance here, though, and Timmy again able to get a bit of himself on it. Now gets sent out in front of the net, but right past Meat Sale. Chris, who is chat banned, tries to get around Monkey here, does does get around Timmy too. I don't think he was ready to do that. And he sent it away. Now Chris with another opportunity, pass over to Panarin, but it looks like Meat Sale actually tipped it out of the way. Tons of chances here for the Clappers to end this period as Chris tries to walk that one in and Timmy sends it away. 7-1 to one our score. A six-goal lead for the Clappers here heading into the third. Pepe Tactics be able to turn this match around. As I should mention uh, right now that the Smokers match will be starting a bit late. <laughs> as it is currently time for that match and we are still going here. Actually, I have a Discord message that is probably from them. Oh no, it's from Panarin. Never mind. I don't know if there's any Smokers players currently in the chat here. Oh, well, I see Dennis in the chat. That's one of them. So I hope you guys are all okay with your match starting a bit late here. As we are in the third period. Meets it with that good steal. Timmy sends it away from the front of the net. I feel like I've been saying Timmy's name a lot. Though it's been more because he's been kind of playing a goalie role here. It's been kind of forced to with how much pressure the Clappers have been getting against the Pepe Tactics. A Panarin from mid-ice goes for the shot off the post. Timmy now. Pass over to Jake. Jake misses the puck and it goes right to Chris. Chris blocked by Monkey. Now Monkey pinches it around and into the Clappers zone in front of their net. But Panarin able to take advantage of it. Goes for the shot sent away by Timmy. Panarin goes for the pass to Meat Sale but Meat Sale just a bit behind it. Jake trying to get around Panarin. Does, but loses it to Chris. Chris goes for the pass. It's blocked. But it does get over to Panarin regardless. So it is now behind the Clappers net. Jake trying to apply that pressure here. Panarin with the pass at the meat sale. And again, Timmy stops another shot attempt. The stone wall has had to make plenty of saves in this one. Now Panarin from the blue line. Loses it to Monkey. Monkey goes for the shot. Blocked by meat sale. He's with a nice move, gets it out in front of the net. Jake is there for a save this time. Now Jake trying to get the puck away from Meat Sale. Can't quite do it. Does it this time, but off the nice move. Can't get it into the net. And see how confident the Clappers are feeling right now. Because in that situation, not a single one of them came back to try to support their teammate. They just knew that Meat Sale would be able to handle that situation himself, and he was. Under three minutes left here in the third period. As the pass out to Panarin is blocked. 7-1 to one our score. No goals in the third period thus far. As Meat Sale passes over to Chris. Chris back to Panarin. Panarin goes for the shot. Blocked by Monkey. Now Panarin again. Just dumps it into the corner here. Meat Sale gets it out to Chris. But Chris loses control of it. And it gets sent away. Now Panarin. Trying to take it out from behind the Columbus Clappers net. Timmy with a nice defense there. Stops one to pass attempt, but it goes right back to Panarin. Panarin with the move. Gets down to Meat Sale. Meat Sale now back out in front of the net. Goes for the shot, but it goes off the side of the net. Now Timmy sends it back around to Monkey, but it goes past him and to Meat Sale. Now Jake and Meat Sale fight for it. Jake comes away with it, but Meat Sale stops the shot attempt. Monkey, though, steals the puck away and brings it down to the Columbus net. 7-2. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Anything can happen at Slapshot. It is still a five-goal game, though. It's going to be difficult for Pepe Tactics to pull that one off. Pass down to Panarin. Panarin from the corner. 
Gets out to Meat Sale. Meat Sale shot blocked by Monkey. Now Chris looking for an opportunity. Gets it back to Panarin. Panarin with a nice move. Gets around. Jake goes for the shot off the post and off Timmy. It looked like. Now Panarin from behind the Pepe Tactics net. Gets out to Meat Sale. Meat Sale with a nice move. Goes for the shot, but it goes just wide. Now Chris and Jake fighting here. Chris gets over to Meat Sale. Meat Sale goes for the shot. It's tipped by Monkey. Almost still goes in. It goes off the side of the net. Still Columbus Clappers puck here. As the Pepe Tactics just can't get it away from them. As Chris misses that shot attempt. Now Jake from behind the Pepe Tactics net just dumps it into the Clappers zone. Monkey can't get control of the puck there. As he had a chance to bring it out in front of the net. Now Panarin looking for a shot opportunity. Tries to get around Jake. He keeps the puck though and finds the corner of the net. 8-2. to two. A rough run, a rough one here for the Pepe Tactics as it is now 9-2 to two off the pinch. Pinches in chat. Now Monkey comes away with the puck here. Looking less and less likely for the Pepe Tactics to come back in this one as Meat Sale with the nice moves. Puts the Clappers to double digits. Up by eight. Ten to two. Now will the snowball effect continue as Chris misses on that shot attempt? That was also that was also a very good selly. I did. <laughs> uh, that was a very good celebration. As Panarin tries to get around Monkey, goes down to Meat Sale. Meat Sale back out to Panarin. Under 10 seconds left here. Panarin tries to put that one in. Timmy with the save, though. His goal, tending one of the few highlights here for the Pepe Tactics. As they will fall in this one 10-2 to, to the Columbus Clappers. Pepe Tactics officially no longer undefeated. 2-1-0 after this one. As the Columbus Clappers win their first ever SPL match. Improving to 1-0-0.